Hey, hi, Kabir. Hi, sir. Yeah, how are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you? Yes, all going good. Thank you for asking. So, Kabir, uh, can I get a quick introduction from your end? Sure, sir. Thank you for the opportunity for this uh, uh, interview. I'm very excited to be interviewing as a data analyst position. My name is Kabir Pandya. I'm 19 years old and I'm pursuing my BSc data science degree from Thakur College of Science and Commerce, which is located in Mumbai, Maharashtra. And I have worked on many real life projects uh, to implement this data analytics techniques. And I have also gained knowledge about some tools like Power BI, Tableau, SQL, Excel, Python, and all. And uh, and I have also uh, implement these uh, techniques in projects also. And and also gain knowledge how data analysts work in real life and how they work in day to day basis. Okay. So can you tell me about your strengths and weaknesses, Kabir? Uh, my strength is I am a very quick learner. So if some new technology come in the market as a data analyst, so I can familiar with the new technology. I, I can grasp that concept very easily. And my weaknesses is like if I present something, so I murmur sometimes. And uh, sometimes I have stage fear also. That's my weaknesses. Right. So, uh, what were your project while you were acquainted with your projects, as you said? So, what all projects you worked on? Main... I firstly work on a normal sales dashboard that every Power BI beginners do. So, uh, I've created a sales dashboard using Power BI and I've created some visuals like bar chart, pie chart and in, Power, in sales, I've created a forecasting method in sales I've created, first of all, I created a line chart to okay. see the trend of the sales and I've used the forecast method to predict the next year value or next month value uh, in uh, Power BI. And one more project I've done is hotel cancellation analysis. In that, I have uh, analyzed if the problem statement was that uh, in, in some of the countries, there are many cancellation happening in the hotels. So I have to analyze that, how they are happening, what suggestion would you give to the stakeholders that uh, how do how do we overcome this problem? So I've used this I've used Python for this. I imported pandas uh, for data cleaning and pre-processing and Matplotlib for visualization. See the trend in the data. And la in last, I've analyzed that and I have uh, gained some insights through this. And I've given some advice to the stakeholders that you can give any. Uh, uh, offers or discounts or uh, in the region or in some of the part some part of the regions you can give some uh, low uh, we can reduce the prices for some of the regions which have not developed any uh, in in this region thank you so much okay okay done fine so uh, kabir uh, while you were acquainted with your project so uh, what kind of challenges did you face on your daily basis I face challenging first of all in data cleaning because we have to remove the uh, uh, null values and outliers and uh, duplicate values. So first of all, data cleaning is the first step we have to do in data analysis. Then the second part, I have to first of all I have to understand what is the problem, what's the business problem is that, and in that basis we can give the suggestion to the stakeholders that we have to do this and this. And some uh, in some part I have also. Uh, make challenges based on uh, presenting the uh, insights to the stakeholders because I, that is my weaknesses that I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. Okay, done. So, how would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten uh, on the topic of Power BI? Seven point five. All right. Fine. So, shall we start? Yes. All right. So, Kabir, uh, tell me, in Power BI, explain the term fact and dimensions. So, fact and dimension tables are in data modeling concepts. So, fact dimension contains all the measures and the connected columns that, that, are, in, that are there in dimension tables. So, fact, fact is the main column that are all dimension tables are connected to each other. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I will say there is a sales data model, data view is there. So, there are many, in fact table, there are many measures like sales, okay. discount, and uh, uh, profit. And there are some 
primary keys that are connected to dimension tables like employee uh, like customer id product id that are connected to product table that means product id are connected to product table and uh, and uh, uh, location id that are connected to location table so that is mean by fact and dimension tables all right done uh, can you tell me what do you understand by the term data modeling in power bi data modeling in power bi sorry sir i cannot recall that all right all right not an issue fine okay um kabi uh, let's say uh, you want to import some data into power bi from different sources like excel files sql databases or uh, any other online services like salesforce all right so can you demonstrate a process using a specific data set so in power bi uh, as a new update came in power bi so we can the new interfaces came so we have to click first of all we have to create a new book then we have to in home tab there is a tab called get data so in mm -hmm. that we can import uh, any uh, different uh, databases or excel files to import uh, in power bi are you sure on that yes sir i am sure well um okay coming back to the next question uh, describe the steps involved in creating a calculated column in power bi uh, but using dax using the yes. calculated column in power bi so in a uh, right side of the uh, right side of the power bi slide there is a called a data where all the databases are located so what we have to do that just click on one of the particular data then uh, right click then we can cal create a new measure new calculated column based on that so we can cal uh, we can create a calculated column like a uh, uh, quantity and cost per price so how much how much cost per quantity and price are differentiated to each other we can create a calculated column or we can also create a uh, uh, dax measures like sum min average minimum anything we can calculate with power bi okay any other techniques or process uh, there is only one or oh, uh, there is also uh, in uh, home tab there is also one uh, in transform tab there is also a tab in where you can create a calculated column it's alternative method all right uh, Kapil, um, can you please walk me through the process of creating a, a basic visualization example like a bar chart or line chart in Power BI? I have to create in Power BI now? Or in... Yes, you can just uh, tell me out. I okay, mean, so I will give an example for based yeah. on that. So mm -hmm. if you want to create a subcategory by sales, so first you have to create where is a visualization pane right in the right side of the Power BI. So we can create, we can take one of the basic visualizer, we can create a bar chart and import it. And if we have to click on that chart, mm -hmm. uh, null chart, we have to click on that and mm -hmm. a new pane will come where we can see the X axis and Y axis. So right. then we can drag and drop the uh, columns that we want. Then it will create a simple bar chart. And line chart we can create uh, using date, date for date, date type, uh, data type. So we can uh, import the month or particular date and the sales. You can see the trend. All right. So coming back to the next question. Um... How can you use Power BI, you know, uh, to create interactive dashboards for business users, or you can say uh, a, a user who is not acquainted into much into IT, okay, a non-IT stakeholder. So, if you want to create a business use case, so every business uh, stakeholders see the visualization from right to left, uh, left to right. So, first of all, we have to create some primary KPIs. Mm -hmm. uh, below like bar charts that uh, based on user problem then mm -hmm. we have to create some card visuals to see the summary of the data set and uh, uh, primary KPI should be the main in first page or uh, we can we can create a paginated report using that then in second page you have to create a secondary KPIs and all thank you okay done uh, what are some best practices when you say what are some best practices for designing intuitive you know designing intuitive and informatic dashboards in power bi can you name some of so them I, so uh, best practices mm -hmm. so i cannot recall that fine not an issue all right so coming back to sql uh, how would you rate yourself on sql you know on a scale of six, 1 to 10 6 6 6 so fine 
कभी टेल मी वॉट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन यूनियन एंड यूनियन ऑन एंड हाउ आर दे डिफरेंट फ्रॉम इंटरसेट यूनियन हेल्प अस टू अपेंड द डेटा सेट so if you for example i will say that i want to uh, fetch the countries only the contain column contains usa mm. and the countries of germany so mm. i will first of all create one of usa query and one of germany query in between i will put a keyword called union so okay. it will give me uh, the appended queries without duplicate values and difference between union and union all is union can contain uh, cannot contain duplicate values but union all can contain duplicate values okay so how do you differ uh, how, how it is different from intersect pardon all right so have you come across are you are familiar with the term indexing and its type yes uh, i am uh, some of the familiar with indexing so indexing is used Uh, it is the process that we can speed up the data retrieval, and we can take quick references from a uh, data based on specific columns. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kabir, what do you understand by the term uh, rollback in SQL? Rollback comes under transaction control language. No, 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 no. Data control language, mm -hmm. and it helps us if we first of all we commit the Uh, query to save the uh, database. Then rollback. It is just a vice versa of commit. It undoes the undo the particular process. Okay, done. Sure on that again? Yes. Okay, fine. Uh, do you know what, something about joins? Yes. Okay. How many types of joins are there? Can you explain? There are four types of joins. Okay. Inner join, left join, right join, and full join. So uh, I have to tell the theory of uh, no 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 not the theory okay are you sure that uh, there are four types of joins there is also cross join and uh, self join mm -hmm. so what do you understand by cross join I um, only I know only four types of joins that uh, that's fine okay so again you said as you mentioned that you are well versed with Python as well correct. so i'll be asking some questions from python as well okay so kabhi tell me uh, what is data uh, i'm mean, sorry lambda function uh, lambda function yes. is that can you please uh, explain it uh, and provide me with a use case from your project i have not used uh, lambda function in my project till now okay so uh, can you explain me just what do you understand by the term lambda function yes lambda function is an uh, anonymous function in mm -hmm. python mm -hmm. uh, we use lambda keyword to invoke the function we, uh, compared to uh, normal function we use def function but we in lambda we can use lambda function okay. it help us to uh, reduce the line of code that we uh, apply on a function so lambda function uh, contains One uh, can contains only one expression, but multiple arguments. Sure. Yes. Think and say. Are you sure on that? Yes, sir. Yep. Anyway, so uh, Kabir, again, uh, let me know the difference between NumPy and Pandas library in Python. Uh, NumPy is a Library in Python, so NumPy stands for numerical Python. Mm -hmm. NumPy uh, can be used in using some matrix operation, like array operations, and uh, 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 on the other side, Pandas is used for data cleaning, uh, dropping null values, or data preprocessing, dupl remove duplicate values and uh, outliers, removing outliers. Okay. Yeah, assist me with the term. What is data frame? data let frame know, is yeah. oh, let yes. me know something so, about data frame data frame is a uh, two dimensional array like structure mm -hmm. where it contains rows and columns mm -hmm. and every column have different data types mm -hmm. uh, yes this is my data frame we can create using pandas pd dot data frame and we have to import have you used structure. pandas huh have you used pandas yes okay while using pandas uh, what what did you find the difference between merging and joining 
uh, merging means uh, we have we have to join the tables. Uh, mm -hmm. One table, uh, for example, is one table one and table two. We have to merge that table based on specific common column. Mm -hmm. uh, and joining means it's the same. Both are same, but uh, the main uh, the main difference is that. Uh, it use primary key. Joining is primary key and uh, merging or automatically merge the normal column. PD dot merge. We can use PD dot merge to uh, merge the columns and join the columns. Both are same. Uh, okay, fine. All right. So with that, we come to an end of a technical round. Okay. And now some basic questions. Uh, okay. So where do you see Kabir yourself in the next five years? I will see in the next five years in a big manager managerial role, and as you are interviewing here, one day I will also interview some of the freshers. Okay. So and I will handle many data analysis lead projects also. Okay. All right. So you said that you will interview uh, okay data analyst. So uh, okay, as a managerial part, you will get into things and you will yes. interview. Fine. All right. So I am done. Okay. Uh, thank you for joining. We'll get back to you on your feedback. Right. Yes, sure. Sir. All Please the very sir. best. Thank you. So when will you get a feedback? Okay. Yeah. Uh, within a while, you'll get the feedback. Right. Yes, sure. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day.